Hello again, same day, same bat channel. Here we are in uh, the uh, Niagara R River, and you can see some pretty nice rapids there. As it flows uh, south from Niagara Falls. And what happens here, it becomes a whirlpool can slightly detect the whirlpool right there in the center and uh, the water has no place to go it wants to flow south downstream and it hits this this barrier this little cove in the river and with the current it causes a whirlpool natural occurring whirlpool and uh, this is a cable where you can go across the whirlpool to the other side to the adventure park we're still in the uh, Ontario and the Canadian side and you can see the United States or the state of New York that side. So, just a very, I'll probably uh, load this with the other one of the power plant since they're both very short. Just to give you an idea how much energy this river produces and how many power plants uh, have uh, power stations along this river. This is a good shot of the infrastructure. There's the basket. It's a big group over there. Holy cow. A big group of people over there on the other side. It's like people. And there you have it. Tour over there. It's very beautiful. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can get any information. Oh, here it is. Whirlpool Aero Car Admission. Crossing the river. The memorizing Niagara Whirlpool churns where the gorge makes a sudden turn, forcing the river through its narrowest channel. How about soaring high above it in an antique cable car? This one kilometer journey will leave you speechless. It certainly is leaving me speechless right now. 
the ultimate adventure. Save over 40% with the Niagara Falls Pass and do it all. This is your ticket to exploring almost everything Niagara Parks has to offer. Adults 13 and older are $69 and children 6 to 12 are 45. Okay, here's the distance for you adventurers. 548.6 meter distance from Whirlpool Aero Car to Thompson's Point. Number of cables that suspend the cable car is six. Passenger can, they can hold 40 passengers at a time. And here is the speed. 4.2 kilometers an hour. The distance is 76.2 meters. Distance from the Whirlpool area car to the rapids below. Wow, so that's quite a drop. Certainly you'd be uh, impacted if that was... Uh... Oh, it went into operation in 1916. And speed of the world uh, Whirlpool Rapids is 48 kilometers an hour, so it's quite fast, quite fast. And we saw that already. So just a wonderful place. Uh, I don't see so, but you can see a nice view. This is very nice. And of course, the gift shop. Just remember, you've got to bring money. You've got to. Now, what does this one say? This one says, International Historic Civil Engineering Site. And it's in Niagara Spanish Aero Car. A tribute to the distinguished Spanish engineer who designed the Niagara Spanish Aero Car. Aero Car. This, this was only one of his many outstanding contributions to the engineering profession. 1914 to 1916. Bernard Torres Cuevando, 2010. So that was nice, they gave him a little plaque. All right, let's move along. Just a great place to get out and uh, see the world. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. And uh, we'll see you on the on the next one